The Department of Agriculture says wait times for concealed carry permit applications have been drastically reduced since Commissioner Nikki Freed took office earlier this year. And on your side, Jake Stofan is taking a closer look at that claim. This behemoth of a machine prints off roughly 2,000 concealed carry permits each day. But Division of Licensing Director Stephen Herm says it's people, not the machine, that's made drastic reductions to application wait times. They just do a great job. Herm says streamlining the process and changing the culture in the division helped make it possible. We celebrate them doing it well and we want them to uh, work together and enjoy what they're doing. There are more than two million Floridians approved to carry concealed. Applications have increased 76 percent this year, with nearly 20,000 Floridians applying each month. Even with the greater workload, wait times for applications with no issues on their record have been reduced from 50 days to just one day since the start of the year. For applicants with issues, it's been reduced from three months to 25 days. But some like J.D. Johnson, who helped train more than 10,000 people to carry concealed, are skeptical of the new numbers touted by the division. Vision. Time will tell. I mean, that, that's my that's my take on it. But Johnson says he has seen some positive signs. I can say that a couple of weeks ago I went and renewed mine, yeah. and I was in and out in about 15 minutes. But that was a renewal. I've had the permit for for seven years, and I went in, and it just it was a really smooth, easy process. The division says by the end of the year it will have filled 25 new positions that it hopes will ensure the turnaround time for applications stays low. Reporting at the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan. Despite the decrease in wait times and an increase in applications, Commissioner Freed says the Division of Licensing has cut its overtime costs by 87%.